What are primary sources? You have an assignment requiring the use of primary sources. What are they, anyway? Primary sources are written using the author's own words. They have not been interpreted, analyzed, or critiqued by anyone else. An example would be an interview with one of the survivors of Hurricane Katrina that is published in a newspaper. Some other examples of primary sources include original research, often reported in scholarly journals, laws and legislation, court cases, congressional hearings, memoirs, diaries, or personal journals, letters, photographs, works of art, speeches, interviews and oral histories, musical scores and compositions, a film or video of an event as it occurred, maps, and much more. Some examples of primary sources by discipline include, for history, a recording or transcript of a presidential speech, the Zapruder film of the assassination of John F. Kennedy, for literature, Stephen Crane's novel, The Red Badge of Courage, or Daniel Key's short story, Flowers for Algernon, for art, Leonardo da Vinci's painting, Mona Lisa, or Michelangelo's sculpture, David, for social sciences, an audio tape of an interview with a Holocaust survivor, or data on voting patterns, and for the natural sciences, empirical research, or field data collected by a geologist. Are books primary sources? Some books are primary sources, especially if they are records of first-hand accounts or original pieces of literature. Sometimes primary sources may be found within secondary sources. For example, an excerpt of a diary or letter or other primary source document may be found in a book. And remember, if you have questions about this or other research topics, you can always ask a librarian.